Now, moving on to our next story, the revival of the Islamic State of Iraq's knocking on the doors of West Asia. Now, two attacks took place, one at a high-profile prison in Syria and the other at a military base near Iraq. Now, a car bomb went off outside the prison, shortly after which gunmen clashed with security forces. This led to killings of at least 40 Kurdish security forces and five civilians. The reason? Islamic State targeted this prison in Syria is because the detention center housed 3,500 fellow terrorists, some of whom rioted and escaped amid the chaos. Now, this is one of ISIS's most significant attacks in nearly three years. Now, across the border in neighboring Iraq, 11 Iraqi soldiers were killed and the Islamic State fighters attacked their base in the Ila province. Islamic State controlled swathes of Syria and Iraq until it was driven out of the territory in 2019. Islamic State cells continue to carry out attacks in both countries. But the latest attacks strongly suggest that ISIS is trying to boost its ranks and arsenal. This to be recognized across both nations as a major player once again.